soul man. You got girlfriend? Yeah, no, I'm good. Boom, boom, you want special pride? D, 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 D. You speak Vietnamese? Enough to give me a little ass and grass if I want it. You full of shit, Felix. That's what you were right? One. No, I ain't. Two. Quit calling me Casper. You know I hate that shit. <laughs> Seriously, man, what's up with you? Two. Oh, come on, man. Have one. I'm having a beer, motherfucker. I'm talking about Charlie. Two VC. Out in the shit? Yes, out in the shit. Just two VC. That ain't nothing new, Casper. You been out in the shit as long as any of us. Charlie sits in the hooch and waits on a couple of GIs to walk by, and then, boof, pulls a machine gun out of his ass and lays waste. You just got to look sharp. You can't look sharp for a hole in the ground. Who's watching who's back? Who was watching Whitaker's back? You got something you want to say? Whitaker wasn't anybody's fault except the VC that got the jump on us. I'm saying who's got our backs. You think it's Lieutenant Sutter? Or mixed with the heavy? Who you think Bo Whitaker on point to begin with? It was his rotation. That's Whitaker, right there before he bought the farm. That's my black ass. And these two motherfuckers is y'all. And then right behind us is Lieutenant Sutter, over here sniffing up Joe's ass. And here's Dan, Archie, and Meeks. You notice something weird about that? It's random. Or a bunch of Negroes sitting on point taking Charlie's first shot. Point men die like flies in the shit. Walk around a fucking tree there's a VC boom. Fucking dead. Sorry, Negro, you're on point. Dead, 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 dead. You're fucking dead. Don't even sweat it, man. We got five more months. Then it's back to the world. And we got Private Whitaker's replacement coming in. Private FMG. Gonna stick his ass on point. That's how it's always been. FNG. Fuck a Negro? Fucking new guy. It ain't some big conspiracy. It's the US Army. They fucking you in the ass, Felix. Hey, it's almost one o'clock. Yeah, come on, let's get going. FNGs. We got a sweep on our hands. Ben Trey's a small provincial city about 60 clicks south of our current position. But the surrounding area needs to be swept for via con. Sir, standard rules of engagement, search and destroy. But well, we're calling it sweeping now. Lieutenant Sutter, you want to give him the rest? All right, two days ago we lost contact with the platoon out of the 39th. Got separated from their company and no one's heard from them since. So there's two points. First, we're not aware of any major VC presence in the area, but stay alert. I want to have any friendly fire. Sir, how do we know it's them if we find them? They are the only American troops in that part of the Delta. So if you guys see anybody, anyone, and they're not a gook, they are either your own company or the missing platoon, and you will know them if you find them. Turns out they're part of Bravo Company. Lieutenant Marsh's boys. And they are a salty bunch. So no. Drop time's 0600 at LZ Echo. Be ready. Yes, sir. Hey, Meeks, what's with that? It's an M60. Machine gun. Nah, not that. What's next to it? That a belt buckle? 
Oh, you mean that? Yeah. That's a belt buckle. Well, hey, I love learning about belt buckles. What's the CS mean? It means you care about where you came from. You mind if I take a look at your belt buckle? I'd rather you not. Well, why not? I just want to take a look at it. That's special. It was a gift. From the Confederate States, I take it. Someone from around there? It's from my daddy. Your daddy? He from around Confederate States? He carried it into battle with him at Guadalcanal and passed it on to me. Heritage. An unbroken line. It means something. So your daddy, he from Philadelphia, New York, Chicago? Jackson, Mississippi. So I guess your heritage probably involved a couple of tracts of land with some contract labor, huh? As a matter of fact, no. We were the labor. My great-great-great-granddaddy scrapped in the dirt on his boss's farm until the good Lord called him to defend his land from the overreach of the federal government. Sounds like a real sucker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe so. You sure got to shoot a lot of niggers in blue shirts, though. You got some shit you want to say to me? Oh, I think I just said it. Fuck. Fuck you. Ted Hut! As you were. What's going on? I just prepping for the boonies, LT. What about you, Alan? You ready? Almost. Well, let's finish up. Because almost ain't gonna cut it out there tomorrow. This is private. What was it again? Ham, yeah, sir. Matthew Ham. He's Whitaker's replacement. Get Private Ham up to speed, get some rack time. We're on deck at 0500. That's 5 fucking AM, FNG. Looking forward to getting to work with you, fellas. Charlie gonna eat you for lunch, boy. Not if I can help it. What'd you just say? I said not if I can help it. I'm gonna give him my best fight. Your best fight? You think this is D-Day? You think the Slopes give two shits what kind of fight you're gonna give them? They think you'll give them a fight, they'll just slither off and hide in the dark and let you step on a booby trap mortar round and blow your foot off fall in a tiger pit and impale your leg on spikes and then they'll shoot who's ever got to carry your sorry ass back. It's best to just not get hit, Private Ham. Then I guess I'll just do the hitting. <laughs> 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 Looks like we found our point, man.
Take me away. Turn back the year. Sing me back home before I die. Meeks, if you don't shut the fuck up. Why don't you lighten up? There ain't no slopes out here. Motherfucker, I'm out here and I gotta listen to you. Watch your mouth, boy. You just ain't got culture. Oh, I got culture, boy. You just ain't Frank Sinatra. You sound like my little cousin trying to falsetto a temptation song. Never met a girl that makes me feel the way that you do. You're all right. Hey, knock it off up there. See fucking camp. Hey, Sam. Yeah? You a virgin. What? And don't lie. You can always tell when a guy's lying about that shit. Hey, Felix. How about the first time you fucked a girl? Man, I hit some fine-ass Colombian chick back in the day behind the movie. I was 15, she was 19. She kept coming back for more. See, now half that was bullshit. He was 15, she was 19, but she didn't come back for more. Casper, you a virgin? My name ain't Casper. Come on, just your first. How old were you? 16. Well, where? At a church. At a church? In church. Yeah, I bet you gave it to her right up there on the altar, didn't you? Nope. Broom closet in the foyer. During church. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, none of that's bullshit. Ham, how did you lose your virginity? It was at the ballpark. Fenway Park. Bullshit. No, no, I swear. I would work the refreshment stands there during summers in high school. I used to go bang this chick real hard in the back. Now, how'd you get away with that at Fenway Park? I would turn the popcorn machine on so no one would hear us. Man, you ain't fucking in no popcorn. No, not in the popcorn. In the room behind it. So this is what, uh, 66, uh, 67? 66. You know, I went to Fenway Park in 66 with my daddy to watch an Orioles game. So we get to our seats and... Daddy asked me if I wanted anything to eat, and I said, sure, Daddy. I want a Coca-Cola and maybe some popcorn. So Daddy comes back with a Coca-Cola and a hot dog. And I said, Daddy, what's that hot dog for? I said I wanted popcorn. And he said, son, I know, but the man told me that you have to order popcorn for the man walking up and down the stands. Because they don't sell popcorn at the freshman counters at Fenway Park. <laughs> oh. Guys, come on, I swear. No, seriously. Oh, we're going to have to find Ham a nice little mama son to practice on. Okay, yeah, hey, very funny, but no. Okay. I said, lock it up. We are five clicks from Fong Me and you clowns sound like the goddamn army band. It's a village. Fong Me? Can't be Fong Me, we're too far out. Fong Nam's closer, but it's still three clicks off course. No, it's probably just some random hooch. We sweeping it? Well, that's orders. One platoon's gonna be enough? Yeah, one's all we need. We start taking fire, all we gotta do is radio it in the third platoon and the whole damn company shows up. Charlie knows it. Any y'all speak any Vietnamese? Yeah, a little. How the hell you speak Vietnamese? The Vietnamese lady babysat me as a kid. <sighs> English. Hmm? Wake! Ask her how many people stay here. Koban. New, new, uh, all day? Hmm? What the hell are you telling her? I'm asking how many people stay here. Down you. Mart, hi, ba, ah. Uh. Mart. She says it's just her, sir. <laughs> Bullshit. She says we killed our whole family, sir. Oh, why ain't that a fucking sob story? Is she VC? VC! V 
Vasey. Phone. Hey, Miss Charlie. You see that M60 and that big old belt of ammo back there? Hmm? Now that thing's gonna turn your house and probably you into dog food. If I find out that any of those commies are coming up through here, do I make myself clear? Wake, tell her. Koban, BC Kong? Bon? I think she's telling the truth, sir. I think she's full of shit. Why is that? Because that lady wants to kill your ass. She could be a runner. Runner? Runs messages for the slopes. I think we ought to torch the place. I tell you what, Miss Charlie. How about I go light up your hooch over there, huh? Or... You can let Private Ham light up yours. What? I don't know how to say all that, sir. Oh, you don't have to. She gets the gist. Don't you, Miss Charlie? Ham! What do you say to some prime Vietnamese real estate? You don't even need a popcorn machine. I say no. Let's get something straight here, PFC. Dumbass. If you've got a problem, swallow it. It's all clear, sir. It's just a hut. Oh, well. Looks like it's your lucky day, Miss Charlie. All right, pack it up, boys. We're moving out. You better watch your step. What? You gonna put me on point? You know what? That ain't a bad idea. So what happened to all that talk about putting the black man on point? What about it? You let him set it have his way. Nah, eh? You're on point. I want to be on point. That's the most dangerous position. No, it ain't. Not out here in the jungle with a whole platoon. What do you mean? Charlie ain't gonna fuck with his head on out here. We's got the advantage. Nah, they, they gonna let us do our thing and then pick at us from the shadows. So hell, if anybody goes down, it's gonna be somebody from the middle of the line back there. They gonna... Shoot him in the leg or blow his toes off to make two guys drag his ass back to the LZ. One bullet, three men off the field. Maybe we ought to run our mouths more often. <laughs> Hell, we all just bait out here anyway. We find the VC and get five point involved. That's where the money's at. Yo, everything is always some conspiracy theory with you. Maybe our country is just trying to help these people live free lives. <laughs> Smell that? What? Smell like a motherfucker. Come <laughs> on! 
So what now? We're gonna run right into him? The heavy's all they got left. They got a crew. They know we're cut off. And they coming for us. You know they coming for us. They just gotta follow our trail. We keep running? Fuck. No. We wait right here. <sighs> Any of you motherfuckers bring a map? This ain't it. How the hell we get so far off course? Ran a long way. The road to Fangmi should be due east of original position, right? If we cut left out of that creek, we should be northwest by by the click. If that. Maybe. Might as well keep trekking. The rest of the platoon's probably already there. Yeah. Hold up. I didn't agree to nothing. Ain't nobody said you had to. It makes more sense to head back to the LZ and wait for extraction. Oh, you know where the LZ is. You want to lead us there? I know it ain't east, and we're headed east. I know if there's slopes in Fong Lee, we're done for. It looks to me like we're headed straight there. I think you just want to find Sutter. <laughs> I think you just want Sutter to find your ass and save it. They can't be far. 
They ain't looking for you or me or any of us Negroes. They left your ass to die with us, and you need to get that through your motherfucking head. Lieutenant Sutter's a good enough officer. Ain't no Lieutenant Sutter no more. Only a low-down, no-count motherfucker that left Charlie Balls deep up our ass. You got fuck Meeks in the ass. Sutter's praying to every guy they can think of, we're all dead. So nobody knows he left us to die. He ain't looking for you, so we're looking for him. You gonna kill him? Well, I ain't gonna buy him an ice cream cone. You gonna try hanging nigga for killing the man that fucked you in the ass? Let me tell you something, Meeks, you win this shit. You got a target on your back, and the only thing saving your ass right now is a couple of niggas. Now, that don't make you a nigga, but you gonna walk with niggas. You gonna talk with niggas. You gonna eat with niggas. And you're gonna protect niggas with that pig of yours there. Because if you don't, you're gonna lay down in a grave with a couple of dead niggas. You got that? Whatever you say. Good. Because I got two things to say to you, Meeks. Number one, get rid of the fucking belt buckle. And number two, I'm getting tired of being on point. Casper, I think we overshot it. Fong Me couldn't have been more than a click out. We've gone another full by now. Only thing this far is a couple of farms. We're headed southeast. If we've gone Fort Clix, this will dump us onto the East Road somewhere. Uh... Sounds like friendlies. Charlie! Wake up and smell the coffee, baby. You got to the count of Moy to tell me where your goop friends are stowing their gear before one of them uses it to shoot more of my men. Order sung. Where's the stash? Order sung. <laughs> I'm gonna count to ten now. Sua Moy. Mo. Hi. Ba. Moy. <laughs> God damn it. I still can't learn these fucking numbers. I know for a goddamn fact you didn't have trouble finding those rifles when this platoon walked through here yesterday, did ya? But suddenly you don't know anything, do ya? <laughs> I'm gonna have to count to ten now. Mo. No. Let's try this. M. Ko. Hu. Tiang. An. Kong. Ad. English. Goddammit. Mo. Hi. Ba. Nam. Sao. Bai. Tam. Mui. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ on a cracker! I just counted to ten in gook! Now, I'll read you the book of songs. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil as long as I know where those goddamn weapons are hidden. Order sung! Order sung! Hey, partner. This the Lost Platoon? Bravo 39th? Lost Platoon. That's what they're calling us, huh? We're with the 39th. You, Lieutenant Marsh? At the hole. LT. Yeah. You, Lieutenant Marsh? Yeah. Who's asking? PFC Allen, sir, with the 60th. They told us to keep an eye out for you. To keep an eye out? They said y'all got lost. Do we look lost? What's in the hole? Three gooks. And they're gook kids. You waiting for them to come out? Are you serious? Boss, frag me. You can't frag civilians. They could have guns. Look, why don't we just bring them out nice and slow and see if they know anything? Private Wick here speaks a little Vietnamese. <laughs> I don't believe what I'm hearing right now. Please tell me that you're fucking new to this shit. Because only a bunch of fuckface FNGs would call a bunch of gun-toting mama-sons and frag-tossing baby-sons 
Civilians! You ever been shot at by a kid, Private? Can't say I have. Well, they'll shoot you just as dead as an NBA regular. Well, that don't make no difference to me or a jury. Hey, Calhoun, there you are. Come here. Come get a load of this shit. Sir? It's my platoon sergeant, Sergeant Calhoun. Sergeant, we got a couple of doves here who don't want to frag the gooks in the hole. What? Why? Because they said it ain't right. <sighs> you ain't bragging that hole. Let me show you something. Take a look. Do you know who those men were? Private Grant, Private Cooper, and Private Steadwell. You know why they're dead? Because some little gook kid pulled an AK-47 from behind a water tank and cut him down while they handed out gum and sea rations. Pat him on the head and tell him it's okay they're dead because at least they didn't hurt some little gook kid. Hell. You should write their mothers and their wives and tell them what good boys their husbands and sons were. Rubbing lotion on the bare asses of a couple baby commie sands before they got blown away. Do you want to tell them that? You got anything else you want to say to me, boy? I didn't fucking think so. Assume your positions. Fire in the hole! Yeah. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Round them up, boys. What are we doing? What's it look like we're doing? Let's go, line them up in the field. You killing them folks? You either help out or you stay out of the way. Listen, Gooks knocked my whole platoon down to a dozen men. I got half here, half out. I don't know, God knows where. Probably dead. It's 24 dead GIs in exchange for a dozen Gooks. I'd say they're getting out pretty fucking light. That ain't gonna fly, sir. Why don't you pick a fucking side, Private? Hey, fucker, make yourself fucking useful. Turn around. Pull it in, boys. On the left. Squeeze it in. On three. One, two. Hold on. Shut up. Listen. Everybody say bravo on three, all right? OK. One, two, three. Bravo. Did you get it? Uh, it ain't balanced right. What do you mean it ain't balanced right? Well, it's all screwy. You got tall guy over there on the left and it slopes down on the right. Montre, move it down a couple spaces. Still a little unbalanced. For God's sake, just take the fucking picture. Oh, hold on, I'll move up. That better? Dandy. Why don't y'all grab one of them mama signs and drag her into the picture? Why the hell would we do that? Like a trophy, you know? 
like he just went on a safari and took down a giraffe, only it's a Vietnamese giraffe. Just take the fucking picture. Oh, hold on. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come here, honey. Right here. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, right here. Yeah, smile for the camera, sweetheart. All right. One, two, three. Bravo! Bravo. Let's go. All right. Light them up, boys, on three. One, two, three. You motherfucking nigga! Time to calm down. You gonna shoot me too? I will if you don't calm down and take a couple of big steps backwards. Drop it, PFC! Okay, Joe, you need to calm down. I said, drop it. All right. Tell you what, Joe, first you tell me what you think the problem is, and then I'll tell you what I think the problem is. Now fuck you! Do the shot! Do it, sorry, soldiers! Okay, so what's the problem? They're all dead. They're all fucking dead. What the fuck is wrong with you? I should shoot you right now. You gonna shoot your own brother? Fuck you. They're gonna put your ass in front of a firing squad. Let me ask you something, Joe. You got a dog? What? A dog. Back home, you got a dog? Yeah, so what? Your dog like you? Yeah? You like your dog? Yeah, what's the point? So you and your dog protect each other, right? You feed him and he barks if somebody tries to come into your house. Yeah, get the fuck on with it, Casper. So you loyal to your dog and your dog loyal to you. Yeah, I didn't shoot him. Let me ask you something. One day you walk out of your house and your dog loses his fucking mind and latches on to little neighbor Sally's arm and starts tearing out chunks of flesh. What do you do? My dog's trained not to do that. Yeah. 99% of dogs are trained not to do that. But if you got the one that does anyway, what are you gonna do when he starts ripping off the little neighbor girl's arm? You gonna stand by and let him maul a little girl just cause he's your dog? You gonna toss him a biscuit or you gonna put him down? That's not the same thing! It's the exact same fucking thing, Joe! And you need to get that through your fucking head. Now I know you freaked out about what just went down, but at the end of the day, we're all in this shit together. Together? What side are you on? There ain't no sides, Joe! Having stripes on your shirt don't make you the good guy. Singing a Star Spangled Banner don't make you the good guy. The only difference between good guys and bad guys out here is what kind of code you're dealing with. How many good guys you know out there killing kids, Joe? If Command found out them good guys shot all those civilians, we'd all hang. Hell, we fucked, Joe. We're gonna hang anyway for killing them GIs. The only difference is letting them children die to keep you up long at night. We are the good guys, Joe. Man, I can't argue with that. Fuck those guys. Yo, bullets in the meeks, you can't say shit. So what? So we're just gonna hop a chopper back to base and tell everyone the Private Casper went all ape shit on the missing platoon? Hope they just laugh it off. Nope, we ain't gonna say a thing. We got separated from the platoon and found our way back from Pong Nam. Made our way back to the LZ and that's all we know. You good with that? Or you wanna stand up against a wall for having some honor and saving some kids' lives? I'm good with that.
with that. How about you, Felix? You okay not standing up against a wall for those shitheads? <sighs> Fine by me. You gonna try some bullshit. Nah. Let's just get back. Good news is, platoon sergeant had a map. You know what? I think I figured out why they call you Casper. That ain't my name. I'm guessing it's because you turn red-blooded American boys into goats, right? Not quite. It's because I shot a little white motherfucker named Casper and took his name. That's what we do in my culture. That all right. He got it in a recruit training. Drill instructor gave it to him and it stuck. Well, dumb, it ain't even a name. Whitaker used to tell it best. So Drill instructor walks in on old Private Allen here, all conked out up on his locker, but during firewatch. B.I. walks over to him and punches him right in the chest. Boom! Says you're dead, Private. Then he tells him, well, since you're dead, you gotta be dead. So he makes him wear this giant white sheet for the rest of the night. He's got to go around and wake up all the other recruits going, Ooh, I'm a ghost. Ain't that ironic. It's fucking stupid. It's stuck, though. He's been Casper ever since. I can see the resemblance. Nobody gave you a nickname in basic? I was Private Jesus. Village is this? I don't know. It ain't on the map. M16, friendlies. Lieutenant Marsh said he got cut off from half his platoon. Might be them. Maybe. Hey. Maybe I'll let this one go. <laughs> let it go. It already got us. All right, boys. Round them up. Move it. Go on. Round them up, boys. Get him out! Let's go! Get out! Come on! Left side's clear. Contact! Left hooch! Get him up! Get him up! Alright, we got a couple more in here. You going in, Sarge? Hell no! Smoke it, Leland! Bravo Company. The rest of the Lost Platoon. This ain't our fight. This ain't our fight. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we're already in deep enough shit. And what have we got to lose? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> ain't no good gonna come out of stain. Let's go. Woo, come on, little mama. Ain't so bad. What do you think? Maybe we ought to leave the lady. The bitch probably deserves it. And yeah, probably shoot him when he's done, too. You good with that? He's good with that. We all are. Let's go. So it's just a damn peep show now, huh? You want me to go get you some tissue? Look at him getting her. Yeah, see? That's the Shut shit up. I'm talking about. Good guys. Good guys, Joe. Let her go. Now. Who the hell are you? Let her go. You from second platoon? I'm not from any platoon. Now get out of here.
RTO just got the radio fixed. Calling in our position right now. Get back in there and finish your sweep. This is the sweep. Leave it. There's gooks everywhere. I don't care. I'm just gonna pick it up and carry it right back over there. All right. Nice. Slow. Clear the chamber. Nice and slow. Nice. And slow. Clear the chamber! Here we go. Bravo, friendly fire, taking friendly fire. Niner Bravo, rogue friendlies, three or four, rogue friendlies. All Negroes, we got half a platoon down, request immediate evac. Zero Niner five, two, six. Jesus Christ. You know they're gonna put our asses against the wall, right? Took us about 10 minutes to set a world record for fragging our own guys. They weren't our own guys. Our own guys don't pull that kind of shit. Sutter really fucked us. No other way about it. I give it three hours before a bunch of cobras come sweeping this place, looking to put our asses in the grass. We gonna shoot them down too? We did what we had to do, with no choice. Don't go getting all twisted up over it. Perimeter, now! It's clear. Can't stay here. Casper, we can't sit around out here waiting to get shot, man. I ain't trying to get shot by no firing squad. Every one of them boys is white. What you think they gonna stand a couple of Negroes up and take a moral crisis into account? Shh. Hell nah. I get that. But we gonna die out here too. How long you think we gonna last in this shit? I'd rather die out here than back there. Shit. I ain't getting railroaded for stopping a murder. We might still have a chance. This war's not too popular right now. The press will be all over it. Of course they will. And that's exactly why they're gonna put us away nice and quiet. Somebody roll a frag into the cell and call it a day if they don't shoot our black asses on sight. What if we shoot them first? Shoot who first? Sutter. Joe, Joe. Well, you got hard real quick, didn't you? Everything that happened, both those villages, we found them because Sutter bailed on our asses and left us for dead. So you just gonna fuck his shit up and then what? Go wait back at the LZ? You got a better idea? Now look, I told you there is a code. I didn't kill them guys for revenge or because they called me a nigga or, or any of that nonsense. That was defense of non-combatants, women and children. Now I stand by that, but Sutter, now that's a whole nother ball game. What the hell is Meeks? Where'd the bike go? He's gonna try and make it to the LZ for extraction and tell him some bullshit about getting separated from us. Never knew nothing about anything. Got him beat him there then. We ain't got no bikes. What you wanna run? We don't need bikes. We need a boat.
lại tiếng anh lên nó mì đường lại đường lại lên mì tiếng việt lên nó mì đường lại đường lại em có hiểu tiếng việt không đường lại tiếng việt không em có hiểu tiếng việt không That stupid motherfucker. If we were Charlie, he'd be dead meat. So we're just gonna camp here? Man, hell no. Let's keep moving upstream. Nah, they'll see us. We wait right here. Ready? Wait, Tracker? Why don't you just hit the motor so we could get up out of here? I know you ain't having a goddamn moral crisis over that asshole. Man, you think he'll come back for us? Kick it, Joe. He's on our side. He's on our side. You in the army, ain't you? He's right. He had our backs earlier. Army gonna fuck us with or without him. Might as well bring him along to the party. Got bells on our asses. Calls you a nigga. I am a nigga. But I ain't Meeks. You in? I'm in. Alright, man. What we doing? Now, if you don't let me go, you're gonna have about 200 fucking U.S. Army soldiers up here in the morning, right? Oh, you fucking pissy dick, no good, slow motherfucker! You keep laughing with that big gun! Your village is gonna go up in flames, motherfucker! <laughs> I can't wait to see you cry. One I just day. I'm a Waskin! Fall off, you fucking skeleton, you piece of shit! Why don't you come on up to Jackson? I'll show you how a white man treats a fucking nip, you piece of shit! Fuck! Piece of shit! Jeff, find me. It wasn't hard with you flopping around up on that bike. Goddamn fucking slopes. They were gonna skin me alive. You wanna tell me why the fuck you took off? I didn't have much of a choice. That's so. Get down to Weasley Hall. Die at the base after a good meal and a hot shower. Sounds like you just fixing to die. You gonna shoot me? You probably ought to wait until I give you your ticket out of this shit. What are you talking about? Oh. You don't wanna shoot me now, huh? Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about ticket out of this shit? How about you get the hardware out of my face? What ticket? Slopes dragged me inside one of those huts when they first got me. They had a radio operator in there picking up traffic from the rest of the company. One came over the wire saying he found a dozen dead GIs in a line a few clicks east of Fong Nam. I guess he called it in. 
All set it. Loud and clear. Fourth platoon found them hours after we were there. Our platoon. Us. They trying to pin it on us. Sort of got to tear everyone he bailed on us. And if he decides to cut his losses and fess up, we got an alibi. We've been pinned down by Charlie since three in the afternoon, down river where we sink this boat. Sutter ditched us, so we cut south trying to evade. Never got anywhere near that village. LT and the boys become the prime suspects. You think it'll stick? The only proof they got we were ever there is that lieutenant's camera. Mother fuck. That camera's got everything on it. So what happens if they find the camera and they see the lost platoon cheesing on it? How do you know we're not in any of those pictures? These pictures? God damn. Just gotta beat Sutter back to the LZ. And we're home free. That's some good shit. We square. We square. Major? Sir? Something screwy here. Bravo's 4th platoon made contact here. A click past Fong Nam. Backs up two clicks west, then goes back up again and runs into fresh bodies. Now why'd they go through an area they've just been ambushed in? You think they're lying? That radio call from Bravo 4th? came in three hours after Alpha Company's missing platoon radioed that they were being attacked. Broke platoon? Or two. Something isn't adding up. The rest of Bravo Company's fanned out across that peninsula. And they should be right up each other's asses. But four platoons off by about two clicks northeast. Beats me, sir. How many birds we got coming in for the extra? Eleven for Bravo, sir. Can you get an extra on deck? Yes, sir. Good. I want two gunships accompanying that extract. I want a company sweeping that peninsula at first light, and I want two squads at each kill site and cover every inch of that delta in between. I'll take care of it, sir. Major, clear a scene on that first bird out. I'll be on. We what? Two clicks out? If that, LZ's right up the road. 0700? We got an hour and a half if we want to shot at the first bird out. You think everybody's heard about what happened? Probably. If it was on the radio, every platoon leader knows about it. Thinking we better avoid the rest of the company until the birds are on the ground. Let's take a spot on perimeter, catch one coming in. What about the gunner? What about him? Them Huey's got a door gunner. Radio operator and John Trom said a couple Negroes went rogue. You think they might be on the lookout for a couple Negroes running straight for a chopper? Maybe we ought to just blend in with the platoon. Yeah, stick to the story and act like we don't know what happened. So they're gonna shoot us on sight and ask questions later. Door gonna gonna cut us down if we look at them funny. So we're fucked. Not if they don't see us. How they not gonna see us? We'll, we'll go Casper again? They ain't gonna see us because they ain't gonna find us. You wanna pass this whole thing off? Then we gotta play it all the way. VC caught our asses. We didn't make it to the LZ. They held us a couple of days until we busted out, killed a couple of guards, and then show up at command in Saigon with a couple AK-47s and a motherfucker of a story. Maybe some nice intel on VC moving south of Ben Trey and piss the fuck off at our platoon leader who bailed on our asses in the midst of a firefight. Piss the fuck off at a guy who's already gonna be under suspicion for calling in a kill site when he was the only one there. That's how we gonna end this. We dig a fucking hole, cover it, hide out for three days, maybe four. If we survive those couple days, we humping 50 clicks back up to Saigon and we got an alibi. No choppers, nothing. Just a ticket out of this shit. I could dig a hole. Damn it, man. All right, I'm in. Meeks, what about... The fuck are you doing? You're right about one thing. They ain't gonna find you. Meeks, 
Come on, just put that thing down. I'm doing a little bit of thinking here. Turns out this whole goddamn thing is y'all's fucking fault in the first place. Our fault? You got blood on your hands, too. I didn't have much of a fucking choice now, did I? Meeks, come on, man. You ain't thinking straight. We just saved your ass back there. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You know why? Because you got my ass captured by the fucking slopes. Because you greased the squad of GIs. But that wasn't enough. Then you went and greased the second one. All I've done this whole time is react to you killing friendlies. So you gonna kill three more? Fuck you! Stand up, all of you. Don't even look at them rifles. Go on. Go on! Stand the fuck up, Casper! Now toss them in the water. Nice and slow. Toss the fucking rifles in the fucking water or I'll end you! Helmets. Toss your helmets in the water. You tell a good night, boy. Why don't you go on and sit down? What, you want me to tie my hands too? No. Nah, I got that. Sutter left your ass for dead, and he'd do it again! Sutter survived. So will I. LZ Echo, sir, coming up. Nobody home? No smoke, sir. You want me to put her down? Negative. Other birds will make the extract. Keep heading east. We're looking for a couple roads. Morning. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you popping out of the bush like that for? We could have shot you. Wouldn't that be a fucking tragedy? What happened? Is it just you? Okay. You, uh, hear about those dead GIs back in Jurong Trom? Oh. No. Yeah. A couple crazy assholes wiped out a few squads in two different villages. And where it is, they were American. Is that right? Oh, well. That's the word anyway. You know, the only problem is everyone deployed on operations have been accounted for. I mean, everyone except you. Oh, that's a funny story. I got one for you. Chicken ship platoon leader takes off in the middle of a firefight and leaves a cutoff fire team to die in the ship. 
shoots up a bunch of villagers on the way back, gets surprised by the missing platoon, and kills them to bury the evidence. Well, no, I didn't say anything about any villagers. It was you, wasn't it? Everything that happened to me happened because of you. Okay. Okay. Tell you what. Why don't you point that pig that way and you and I, we can discuss this. Why don't you give me one good reason not to smoke your ass where you stand? How about because you'll be dead before you get a second shot off? And honestly, Meeks, I don't think you want to end your life out here in the shit. So get your fucking head straight! LT, I'm already dead. No. You don't have to be, Meeks. You don't have to be. Let me ask you a question. Where are those other boys you were with? Gone. Dead. Maybe. Captured. Probably. All right. Then let me tell you something. Leading a platoon ain't easy. Sometimes you have to make the tough choices, like leaving a few men in order to save the whole goddamn unit. But Meeks? That doesn't mean I can't try to have your back. It's a little late for that. Doesn't have to be. Not necessarily. Those choppers are gonna be here in a half an hour. And everyone in this platoon is gonna be on those choppers together. Just like we came off, just like we've been the entire time. All of us, Meeks, together. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying to you? So what, you think they're just gonna forget about two dozen dead friendlies? Casper. It was Casper, wasn't it? Sure. Sure, he fired the first shot and those other fucking Negro boys, well, they followed right along with him, didn't they? I mean, that is... That is what happened, right, Meeks? Huh? Still your fault. Shit happens. Especially out here. Doesn't mean it has to happen to you. Uh, uh, why'd you tie these ropes so motherfucking tight? So I wouldn't get shot. Uh, uh, you ain't getting out these ropes. Why are you laying his son bathing? Inbound, step on it. There they are. Put it down by the road. Roger that. Lieutenant Sutter, Bravo Company. Sutter. You called in the casualties? Yes, sir. Three clicks northeast of Farm Me. Bravo Company's the only unit out here. How many men are you missing? Three unaccounted for, sir. Took off during the firefight outside of Farm Now. Where's the rest of the platoon? This is it. All right. Get your gunner squad on the chopper. Sir? We're going to sweep and look for these clowns. I want some firepower on board. Rest the platoon, get up to the LT, and rendezvous with the rest of the company.
toy. Like what? Chung toy comes out. Kong Lin. I'm Kong Debo. Kong Debo. You are our friends, and you not bad. Yes. Hey, tell them about right. me. Right. You wear American uniform. You carry American guns. You shoot American bullets. Your plans drop American bombs and kill Vietnamese children. We killed 20 American soldiers because they were shooting Vietnamese. We killed them. We didn't choose this. We're fighting against it. Soul man. Soul man in Vietnam is like a fly caught between two fighting buffalo. Let us go and we'll never come back. Vietnamese people starve because of you. Vietnamese people cannot grow rice because Americans plants sprays agents orange and destroys the farm. American minds take what once created life and make it death. <laughs> Vietnamese people fight for 1,000 years to get freedom from Chinese. Debo! 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 Vietnamese people fight for 1,000 more. And for 1,000 more after that, bullets will not help you, bombs will not help you, and God will not help you. You will only die. Go! Chung Ma Choi! Done on a motherfucking landmine. They're gonna shoot us. Spread out. One goes down, the others keep moving. When I yell, we break for the trees. You know her? Yeah. My bye. My bye. Go home, soul man. It's not your walk. Thank God you found us. How did you know where you are? There's your rogue, sir. So what the hell? Sir, what's going on? Oh, don't play stupid. We know what you did. What the motherfucker are you talking about? He knows. We all do. 
After y'all ditched us in the firefight back there, y'all up and greased a bunch of our own guys. You what goddamn well, We've been bullshit. here two days. Bullshit. We've been here two days. Charlie picked us up at the end of the firefight where LT motherfucker bailed on us. So I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah. Where were you, LT? Well, I was cleaning up the mess you bailed on. Only then to find out that you made another one. On purpose. How about you, Meeks? Where were you? You heard the man. Mopping up your mess with the rest of the platoon. He was with you the whole time? Yeah. He was. Why don't you waste these niggers before they try some shit? Colonel. How the men die? He knows how they died. They were shot. What kind of brass? 5.56 five, M16? 7.62. Somebody used a 60 on them. I ain't never fired a pig in my life. Sir. Only one man in the platoon had an M60. It wasn't any of us. What the fuck? Are you accusing me of killing my own man? Fuck you. You cocksucking piece of shit. You fucking nigger, fuck you! Hold on. Now, how much ammunition did you use? I mean, hell, I don't know. Six belts? Looks like you used more than that. Let me see that weapon, son. Out in the high in the fucking hell, a couple fork-tongued, black-ass sons of bitches get away with accusing red-blood Americans of turning on their own kind. You won't be Malcolm X, don't you, you piece of shit? I swear to God, you better be facing the fire squad next week. I want to see you hang, nigga! I want to see you fucking dead! What's in your pocket? A couple pairs of dry socks. Take it out, son. Give me an ounce. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, Meeks. Oh, Jesus Christ! Meeks, stand down! Stand down! Meeks, I will shoot you! <laughs> 